If I'm going to follow up my life, I'm going to please and thank you very much. I'm going to follow up this life, I'm going to thank you very much. I'm going to have a vehicle and start walking out of this. This is a country. People are really and truly have resources to go waste. People are really and truly in this country have resources to waste. Now, I'm going to tell you this. When you are a spitney, when you are a spitney, you have something when you are autonomy. Autonomy. You understand? For those who don't know what the word autonomy means, you can go Google it right now. You need to raise your pitney to be autonomous. Raise your pitney to be an autonomy means auton autonomy is the ability to think for oneself. To choose for oneself, to do something for oneself, or to do something for the sole purpose that you want to do it. That's what basically autonomy means. You have to grow a pitney with autonomy. You can't just grow a pitney just to follow rules so, and follow back a people and follow a company. You have to give pitney chances to express themselves and to delve into their own personality. Children have to be, give, be given a chance to develop who they are and how they are and their own personalities if you sit and grow a pitney with a whip crossing back and grow a pitney under the slave mentality or grow a pitney through fear this child is going to grow to become a follower this child is going to be easily swayed and pushed down the wrong path now a lot of us the way we grow we, we, and you know have to grow the right way you know what is right and that me tell people all the while you don't have to grow the right way to actually know what is right you understand some some way grow in a, some abusive extremely abusive families but we but we know we know we know we know beat with pitney i want to abusive to a pitney i will treat the pitney right i will teach you we should grow pitney them with love some of we grow neglected but yet still we dead if we with pitney some of we grow in some situation where nobody never did if we care for we. But yet still we cherish we pity them and we care for them and we love we pity them. You understand? Me as a youth, when I really talk about this on, on social media like that, like I, I have deep done a live and talk about growing up as a child and home used to get some rotted lick. You understand? Because my father used to, used to, used to Butter bruise me. Back in them time, I used to just think it did normal for them lick the woman I get from my father. And I used to feel, oh, I just beat daddy, I beat me and them things. You understand? Because I'm rude and them things. Now, when I grow up, I know about developmental processes and I know about behavioral tendencies and I know about, 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 about learning disabilities and them something. Because I had a learning disability growing up. You understand? And when I say learning disability, a lot of people think I'm, no, not, sorry, not learning disability. Behavioral disability. You see? Um, after me, after when me turn big man, I when me get diagnosed with ADHD, attention deficit hyper disorder. You understand? Where I am, a I, where I was a child growing up, I was always overly active, ext extremely over overactive. You understand? I was not the type of person to the child to just sit in one place. You understand? And do nothing. You understand? I was never into video games and them something. All of my cousins them know this. All of, when all of my cousins them would have sit down and play Super Mario and Mortal Kombat and them something on the TV, I wasn't the type of child to do those type of things because I just did not have this, the, 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 what you call it now, the stick with it, stick with, stick with it is him. You understand? That's how them kind it has. I never have that. If you sit down one place and do something, in a tedious nature I was I mean, me the type of people who love go to the world, run up and down always want to ramp always want to interact always want to socialize even in today's so even in my current situation right now I find it very hard to stay in one place doing one thing you understand I have to always try to ensure that my life is dynamic where I have multiple things doing at the same time all at the same time because of my behavioral um, disorder that I have that was undiagnosed as a child while growing up as a child, because of this um, condition that I suffered for, it was misinterpreted by 
my family members as me just being rude as me just being nah, when them say nah, no, he is, he is hard because them tell us if you stay there, so you just can't stay no matter how them tell us if you turn in the yard, you know, turn in the yard no matter how them say, go and go sit down and read a book, you know, go do that, you want to go to the door, go pick man, go run up and down pick green, orange, stone dog and all them something because this is just see? this is just something that back in the days nobody never did really even though I'm not that old still because I'm just, me just 34 I'm not that old you understand because 86 my band but in them time we weren't as exposed to developmental milestones and stuff like this where children should be achieved where we should achieve by what age we never we weren't cognizant as a country as a society to look out and say okay boy you know say something really right and I just rode him the road so for the time when we say oh the pity does bad or the pity does nano manners the pity them have developmental delays or behavioral disorders or learning disabilities and them something that we don't even know we don't kind them we don't find them we don't look at them for what they are now even my child my child right now when we don't really talk about certain things my, my child is hyperactive as well you understand him have the same ADHD with me have probably probably a little more than what we have but I make it my point of duty. I tell myself, say, me not, me not, me not beat me, pit me. I do not be, I don't believe in, 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 in corporal punishment. I don't believe in that. You understand? Me give him a little one slap, you know. But I don't, don't believe in a beating pit me, like old pit me and beat him and say, you're not, say, you're not to do that and beat them with belt. I don't believe in them something. I don't believe me. I don't think that works because I, me used to get anybody who know me, any of my family member them dependent this, no say, when it comes to butter bruising and calaboosing, we get the whole of them there. You understand? And it never really changed nothing. I was still um, quote unquote rude. Me still quote unquote never have the manners. Me, 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 me st still did quote unquote fidgety and I don't know if I circle myself and now nah, behavior. It was the same with all of the lick and the abuse that me get. So me looking at myself and say, alright, boom, because of this what I went through as a child, I will not reciprocate this type of parenting or this type of abuse to my child you understand me i said no unfortunately there wasn't or the government agency at that point was even worse underfunded than they are today even today's society the government agencies are grossly underfunded there are not many places or many many spaces that you can carry a child to to get your child properly evaluated a lot of persons do not find out the developmental delays of their child until it's way 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 too late because the government entities that are there because the clinics that you go to go take up a little child check up on them someday they are so overburdened that it's like a factory it's like a, a industrial line thing where it's just patient after patient after patient after patient so doctors or caregivers or psychiatrists or whoever is there they don't get a chance to have a real interpersonal relationship with their clients or with the patients so they don't know they don't they don't get the, the real chance to delve into what is happening with the children here today so a lot of the times when they do find out is like when it got when it can we are late you understand now, I say all of this to say there was there's a video that was going around the other day. It went viral with a little boy, with a man video and a little boy and say, Where you want to be when you grow big? And the little boy said, I want to be a gunman. Zin, I want to be a gunman. Man say, What you say? Where you say you want to be? Man say, I want to be a gunman. And the little man laugh. This little boy was I, I can this little boy I never read seven years old, about five or six years old. Zin, same age as my son. You understand me? I say, him no reach, him no reach seven years old yet. You understand? And him say, I want to be a gunman. So the man said, Why you want to be a gunman? I want to be a gunman because a gunman shoot after police. Now that was the entirety of the statement. The person in the video, I don't know if it was his parent or his caregiver or guardian or whatever the person was laughing at the statement and just found it funny and posted it now to be honest even though even though i think that the person was was wasn't more responded like fully responsible for 
because they laugh. That was very irresponsible. That was I mean, I not say very irresponsible. It was a bit irresponsible. The fact that they laugh because yeah, kids say the darndest things. Kids, kids say things sometimes that catch you so off guard. It, 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 it's humorous to you. You understand? It, it becomes humorous to you when you say because my my child has said things that I know that it's wrong for him to say, but because it catch me so off guard, me find you might end up laugh. Me catch myself after me laugh and say, yo, don't say that. And sometimes the laughter what me do. And then after me laugh, then me go tell him, say, don't say that. It send a mixed signal to the child, where the child try to comprehend. But if you're laughing, because laughter is the, like the first, I remember tell you, in a, in, a, in a children's development, the first mode of communication in a child is laughter and crying. Smile, cry, smile, cry. Those are the first mode of communication from, from, from a baby. When you sit and come to a baby, the, the, the meaning when you come to a baby will, 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 will lead to the reaction we get from the baby. If you come to the baby with a positive energy and something there, the child will smile. If you come to the child with a negative energy, the child will cry. You understand me I say? So communication starts from smiling and crying, sadness and happiness. So when you when the child does something that you deem negative, but you laugh or smile for it the child the first sense sign of communication as me telling you is happiness and sadness because you have a happy reaction the child is going to think that it's something good that the child has done right when you set so boom and after you give the child a happy reaction of laughing then you are going to set so and it might cut off a little bit coming i got you one little dead zone right so now yeah hold on the one second the people give me a second man zane I don't want to go nowhere because this is a serious, serious topic for me to talk about. You, know? you understand? This is a very serious topic. But I got you one dead zone right now. So just give me about 30 seconds to pass the part. Because whenever I go up on live and I come right here, so the signal normally drop. You see? So just give me, a, give me about 30 seconds to pass right here. So. And then we can go back to the live. You see? When it chip out, Person. I'm reaching back in our lives so and I'll pull over and just go, go through the points that I'm trying to make. Yeah. So as I say, the first mode of communication that kids learn is happiness and sadness. Happiness and sadness. Smile, frowns. Smile, skin up. So when a child sees you smile or laugh at something that they do they're going to think it's acceptable or think it's something good but then after you laugh and you come back and then come tell the person um the child um yo you're not supposed to that don't do it again that is something that is contradictory and that's something i'm going to make the brain fart up you understand because the people be confused like but you give me a positive reaction and you tell me say negative how, how, how do i process this you understand me i say so this is something that is normal in parenting. Don't feel like you're a bad parent if you laugh or, 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 or you, you are startled by something that your child say, whether it is negative or positive. Don't feel like you're a bad parent. Remember, say, there is no body who is a parent, a perfect parent. All when you got, got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, pitting already. Everybody have characteristics and traits that need to be brushed upon. Nobody not perfect. You understand and as a parent the good memory tell you if you have five pitney every pitney different and uh, every child we, we have have a different personality so you're going to always be in a learning process so while the child is learning you are learning to be a parent to that specific child you might be appearing to five six seven eight nine ten pitney already you say the 11 pitney when that pity they come you are again you should be again learning to be a parent to that child the problem with a lot of seasoned parents is that they used what the past experiences from their other children and the past behavior of their previous children to dictate to that child and to stifle that child's own this development you understand because remember this you know, when you're growing a child you know, you're growing the child because you want them to go on the right. It's trying to steer them on the right path. But you steering them on the right, right path should not mean that you are stifling the child's own personal development. 
the child should be given the freedom to expound on their own personality and to develop themselves in their own right and to become the person or the individual that they are yes they are a part they are a part of your family yes they are a direct representative of who you are as a person or are you are are your values and your morals and your morals but at the end of the day the child is still an individual the child is their own person you understand enough of us a lot of us you more enough of us <laughs> a lot of us as adults feel like because we are older or because we are providing for the child we are omnipotent and omnipresent and the child should, shouldn't have no input in their own development and i'm telling you this is a very backward stance you understand it's a different different time right now when our parents used to grow us we weren't we weren't abreast to all of the external stimuluses we never have no tv where we could have changed remote for ourselves we never have no tablet we never have no phone the people that we are socialized with are the people that we are associated with they didn't have any phones or tv or anything like that they used to have stronger will the parents as well so it's not only the the, the phone and the tablet that we are coming in, in contact with a lot of the parents that are there right now are less are spending a lot less time with their children than our parents did because things and times are harder so they are forced to work even longer hours you understand and to work away more parents now are having to go overseas and leave their children here to seek better life for their children so you have more incidents of barrel pitney the kind first barrel pitney now than even then so we have to understand that development is fast forwarded and also retarded at the same time you understand me i say no i'm gonna pull over right so i think the party is a live zone I'm pull over right so i'm just get to finish and do what i do see so my opinion about this so sleeping dead him dead in the back seat you understand and show see